Hello guys and welcome back to my channel today. I'm super excited to be doing another demo and review. This is for Lauren Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Powder Foundation. Um, this is the box. This is the product. Um, I went with the color medium and this has nine grams. I don't know if it, there we go, if it'll zoom on that for you. It is a domed baked powder foundation. Um, it retails at $36. I got it from laurengeller.com. What it says about this product is that it is, let's balance your skin and make you look right all day. This is a color correcting. That's why it has multiple pigments and swirls. It's been baked for 24 hours on terracotta tiles from Italy resulting in a weightless application. Grab my tools that I always do. Uh, this is the Bare Minerals coverage brush. It's just the Kabuki one, it's flat and tight. We'll try that first and then if not, my trusty sponge. I have some concealer under my eyes, not a lot, but a little bit um, just because I look extra rough lately and uh, I need it. So going in with the foundation brush, I don't know if you can actually see here, I'm kind of swiping and rubbing it around. It gets quite a lot of kick up. So I'm going to try pressing it instead. And here we go. So again, as I expected with most of the brushes on this type of product, it is going to be a lighter coverage to begin with. Um, but I'm not like crazy impressed with the amount of coverage off of this brush. It's not terrible, um, but it's just... I need a bit more. So we're gonna go in with my trusty handy dandy sponge. You don't need a fancy sponge. You can buy a fancy sponge if you want, but I don't see the point. Um, because I have acne prone skin, I tend to like to get rid of my sponges. That way I know it's clean. All right, here we go. So that gave a little more coverage. I feel like I'm really gonna have to kind of work with this formula just because it's not a lot of coverage. It's not bad looking, it's just not as much coverage as I'm used to having. I like a good like medium coverage and this is definitely more of a light veil of a coverage. I can tell that it builds up nicely and it feels like nothing on the skin, which is great. But if you're someone who's looking for medium coverage, this is not it. I will say this is good for mature skin, someone who doesn't want a lot of makeup on. This would be perfect for you because it does have like a weightless feel and it kind of looks like it is color correcting, um, especially over some spots that I have some redness or irritations. So I think I might do a combination of the two of the sponge and with the brush because I feel like I might get the best application that way. I mean, I feel like I'm going into the product like a ton just to get the desired coverage that I'm comfortable with. It is really pretty. It does have a nice brightness to this product that I will say looks really good on the skin. It's making my skin look nice and pretty. So I don't hate it. I feel like if you're someone who already has like decent skin, this would be a great foundation for you. Or if you're someone who just prefers a more natural look, you will like this. I like a little bit more. Again, that is just my preference, but I do like, I don't know if you guys can see like how pretty and luminous it is making my face look. Um, I don't typically go with a product that gives me luminosity, but I do like this. And it is a different product than I'm used to for sure. But it does feel weightless. I'm gonna go back in with that brush. I'm gonna keep packing this on until I get enough coverage. On this one, I feel like the medium color is the right color. I think because it has these lighter infused, um, like marbleized pigments in it. I think it looks better on my skin than the other one that I tried in medium that looked just too dark.
Thankfully, I don't have as much to cover as I usually do. There's not a whole ton of breakouts on my face. So that makes this um, wearable. I do have some things I have to do today. So this will have to actually be tested out there in the real world. So I'm happy with this coverage. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so with the power of YouTube, all my makeup is on. And now um, you guys can see the final look of this powder foundation. I will say the longer I wear this powder foundation, the more I like it. At first, I wasn't really like in love with the amount of coverage, but once everything's on, I look covered and I'm good with it. Um, it is a little more of like a satiny kind of, um, not glowy, but it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not super matte. Um, typically I go for more of a matte type of, uh, powder foundation, but I think this looks really good. It's really pretty. I think it's perfect for someone who has more mature skin. Um, I like that it has the color correction in it. I don't have a lot of redness, but there is sometimes when I have a little bit of redness in my skin. Um, only thing I can say that is kind of frustrating about, um, this product here is the medium in this shade looks better on me than the medium in the other shade that I got. So maybe think about with the full coverage going a lighter shade and maybe with this more, I would say light to sheer coverage here with the baked and brilliance, maybe going a more to your like true shade. I could still probably get away with a medium, um, or even a light because I feel like it's not a perfect match to me, but I think because it has the swirled baked um, colors and I think it works better than the other one. I will say this is perfect for someone who likes a light coverage. If you like light coverage, this product is for you. I totally get why this has been a hyped product for years and years. I think the company has been around since 97. Um, I get why people like this. I get that it has color correction. I get that it's giving you kind of that soft focus look um, from the powder foundation. They have a reasonable amount of colors. You should be able to find something for everybody. Definitely more targeted towards somebody who has mature skin for sure. Feels like absolutely nothing is on my face, which is super comfortable for me and I like that. Um, I just wish there was a little more coverage. I will say I did have to kind of work and build this up to what I need it to be. Um, not because I need a lot of coverage, it's just what I'm used to seeing on my own face. And that's what I like. If you're someone who likes more of a light wash of color or you're someone who maybe likes less coverage on your face because you feel like it adds texture, then this product is excellent for you. You're getting nine grams, which is a reasonable amount. I could tell that I'm gonna go through this really fast if I used it regularly. I think it's perfect for what I'm doing today, which is just running around and running errands. I don't know how much of a long wear this is gonna be on me because it does have a little more of that luminosity to it. So I will leave that down um, in the comments below, like how long it lasted on me after I've worn it. But overall, I'm impressed with this powder foundation. I think it's a yes. I'm really surprised. I don't know why I took so long to try this or I slept on this brand. Um, they have been around forever, but I just, it was harder to get a hold of. And then when I could get a hold of it, it just didn't interest me because I wasn't into like a light foundation. Um, but as I'm starting to get older and a little more mature, I am finding that I want to try more uh, products that are good for mature skin. It just looks nicer on your skin and doesn't add as much texture or sink in lines and wrinkles. Nobody wants that. So for me, it's definitely approved the Lauren Geller Baked Balance and Brilliant Color correcting powder foundation. Make sure you guys check yours out for yourself. I always say um, make sure you like it for you, but definitely both of the powder foundations from this company are definitely mature skin approved and I like them a lot. If you can find the right color for yourself, that is the hardest part. You can always reach out to the company and they will help you choose a color. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday in the description box will always be my Instagram for daily posts and my Etsy account if you'd like to support my crafty adventures and I'll catch you guys on the next one.